Hello everyone, this is Paula, and today I want <clears throat> just to work on some ephemera. Kind of what I'm going to do this summer, spring and summer, is get some things made and ready to go. So I thought today we'd do some pockets. This is an example. This is one I've had in my stash, and that doesn't mean that this is exactly how they'll look. I'm going to collage with them. And and we're going to just do different kinds. So I'm going to tear out some music sheet out of this book. And we're going to use some of that as well. And let's see what else. I have several different things I want to, to work on. But this is just what we're starting with, okay? And so I've got some old book pages that I had, you know, from from collaging and using my book as a glue book. And, you know, to get the glue on the paper. I'm gonna use Taylor Made Journals wallpaper. I there, It's a mix of her different wallpapers. So you just have to keep in mind that um, they're not, you know, this isn't one kid I'm working with. It's just, a, I have several of her, um, her uh, wallpapers. And so this is just a few. So the first thing I'm gonna do is decide. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna worry about what these uh, pages say, because this is a, Star Wars book <laughs> that I found somewhere. Don't ask me where. Um, probably at Dollar Tree or something or at a uh, vintage antique mall or something or a junk, a junk place somewhere. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to use my tear tool. And I'm not going to worry about things being perfectly straight or anything like that. I'm just going to put some music sheet here on this first page or two. And we'll just probably start with, you know, that I am not, I don't have any rhyme or reason to how I'm doing any of this, okay? Just so you know. Okay, so we're going to do uh, this pocket. We're going to do different size pockets. Right now, we're going to do this one the size it is. And I'm going to shoot for uh, five and a quarter, four and a quarter size book pages so that we can consider them with uh, different, different things. So I'm going to turn this one. It doesn't matter to me if it's sideways, upside down. I'm not worrying about that. I just want it to look random. And so, let's see. What did I do with my... I'm already losing my tear tool. <laughs> now, I, uh, I don't want them all to look, you know, perfect. Because then it would just be like way too perfect. And I want it to just look shabby. Shabby. Not shabby chic necessarily, but shabby. The paper to look just old and torn up. Now see, some of those edges are just really hard to get. So let's do like this. Let's see if we can get it to come off like this. It's harder to grab the small side, up side of the paper and tear as you can see it just starts breaking off so it's better if you can to um put your ruler on the short side and tear off the bigger side and just gonna cut a several pages any shape we decide. Okay, now I'm going to move these little crummy ones. <laughs> little crummy ones. 
I uh, hope you guys are having a great Saturday. It is Saturday here when I'm doing this video. And um, it's, a it's been cold. I don't know about you guys, but we've been cold in Branson. Oh my goodness, we haven't had snow or anything, but I bet the people at Silver Dollar City are cold. So, I will be doing this video. You should be getting a video that comes up sometime on Saturday. Probably later on Saturday. And then, uh, I'm not really keeping track. I'm just kind of doing them. And, you know, we're not doing anything to, uh, we're just deciding when we want to put one up. And... I'm not making as many because I'm taking a break. And I'm trying to do a couple a week for you guys. And I might find that that's what, what works best for me so that I don't get that burnt out feeling. But I'm going to be doing some different... I'm going to try to be doing some different things um, to make it, make it fun and challenging. So that's why I'm doing the um, package, the packages of Ephemera and Traveler's Notebook cover. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm having fun putting them together. I'm not actually making Traveler's Notebooks, just the cover, and I'm making it out of very quality uh, paper. Not just cheap, well, not just cheap paper you get at Walmart. I'm using like Blue Fern and Stamperia and several other that are not common in places like Walmart and craft stores. These will usually come from shopping on Etsy or online or something like that. Okay, so this ended up being a gigantic piece that just covered my music sheet. So maybe we need to put some more music on there, right? That's what I say. Let's put some more music. Let's do like this. One of the things about uh, collaging to me that drives me crazy I love doing it, but I hate dealing with the sticky paper. I feel like I don't get very many. You guys tell me what you think about it, but I don't get very many um, paper squares or shapes onto my, um, my pockets because I feel like it's because they're... Um, I don't even know what I was going to say now. I'm trying to think of two things at one time. I'm over here trying to do my, <laughs> my tearing and so forth and talk at the same time. It's not a good thing to do. So, um, looks like I used some of this, doesn't it? Got some hearts on it. Whoopsie. There we go. Let's do some of this. Now, see if I can find a spot that's not super glue. Super, super amounts of glue. I really like to glue these down really well so that um, they're easy to they're they're easy to not get they're not easy. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Seems like forever since I've done a video, um, so that they stay together 
very well for you. Now, I am going to just trim some of this leftover stuff off here. And I want to also, and I haven't gotten the paper out for that yet. I thought we'd do a few of the fronts. But then we'll go back and do um, some backgrounds. The back of the background. The background of the back. Good grief. Good grief, good grief. Okay, so I'm going to cut some of this dark stuff off because... Mm, I don't like it. And that way we don't have to worry about it sticking out. Okay. So tell me what you guys have been up to. I I haven't heard from a lot of you in a while. And uh, I know I've kind of been uh, missing in action. <laughs> but still, I love to hear from you guys. Okay, so let's try, I'm trying to see different colors we've got here. Let's try some of this green. And we're going to fold this up and use it for next time. And then we'll have more to work on. That's how this works. It's, it's kind of like back and forth. I just like to tear a bunch of them and just have them ready. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't know about you, but I feel like we spend a lot of our video time tearing. And I just feel like, you know, we don't get to do as much because of that. So let's put a good size one on here. I don't like to, uh, to do very small pieces. I like to, you know, do bigger pieces. You don't want to do a whole lot of tiny little pieces. Now, mind you, you have to base it off the size of the object you're making, like the pockets, for instance. These are not huge, so you could put some smaller pieces. But I still kind of like to go with bigger pieces if I have them. When I use smaller pieces is usually when you know, that's all I've got or something, you know, so. Okay. Let's get this little music sheet on there. I don't like any of the little blank areas. I hope you guys can see. Hope I'm in camera. I'm gonna kind of look here in a second. I had you in camera. I'll put it this way. I had you in camera to start with. <laughs> okay. Let's put this one right here. Let me check the camera. Yes, you can see. Perfect. Okay, uh, so that's some of the green. Let's do let's do a little bit of a little bit of this one. Now maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm thinking, let's put that one right there. We have really been working on our house, which takes a lot of your time also. And, you know, it's the best time of year to do that. So, um, that's what we've been doing. We've got the upstairs bathroom finished. We've got, um, let me think of the other rooms that we've got done. Looking at my paper to see what we've got. Got those. Let's do some of this green. Um, we finished the upstairs bathroom. 
now we're working on the master bathroom. So we took out the, the tub shower unit, which we hated. And we've now put in a big shower. And the sheetrock guys have done their part. The shower's in. But now we got to wait and do um, the, get the doors put on. And that's another week to do that. I'm so ready to, you know, shower in it. <laughs> I kind of put a shower curtain up and showered in it once. But you still have that stupid shower curtain to deal with. And I, I don't like it clinging to you when you shower. Okay, so that's getting pretty sticky. We might have to do something with that. Oh, there's two two greens. Okay, now we're going to have to kind of make up for our... Um, if I can get hold of my, my ruler. We're going to make up for covering up the blue because I really wanted the blue on there. So I figure we'll cover several and then... Um, We'll cover some other things, and then we'll come back in maybe the next video and do ephemera on, you know, decorate the items. So we're, you know, we've got to, a lot to choose from. Yeah, now see, I like the way these are coming out. They're different. I'm trying not to, col you know, do them certain colors. I'm just using what I have and have to make sure they're nice and straight when it's all said and done. Right now, I'm not too sure. I'm not good at just free cutting like that, but Tina over at Shabba Dabba Doo Doll, she can cut things straight, that girl. She does well at that. Okay, so when you have it, them start falling apart on you, you do want to add some glue so it can be settling down. And, okay, there we go. We got one more right here. Just want to stick to my book. Okay. My book has been about used up putting uh, putting uh, glue on everything with it. Okay, so. And we'll come back and do the backs. So now we've got two done. Oops, I forgot to glue down the inside of some of these that were loose. That's because I don't, um, when I fold them apart right here, like whenever I'm gluing them, I don't glue every little section down. I just stick them together and put them on my shelf. And when I use them or try to construct something from them, I end up gluing them better at that point. Okay, so let's go on to number three. Make me want to say like, you know, countdown music or whatever. <laughs> okay. I think I just used a bunch of that. And I still have um, plenty space down here to use glue on. The key to this is to use plenty of glue. And that's how you keep it from coming off. And I end up stitching. I'll end up stitching around all of these. Probably not on camera. But you know what I mean, like, when necessary. Okay, so let's go to a different color. 
Let's do something different. Here's another one that has um, some fun paper. I like to tear all the corners if possible, unless it's gonna be up against the edge and we don't need to, you know. That's the only time I don't worry about it. We also have some um, You know, we've also been collaging in a book, and that has, is ready to be taken out, some of them taken out, and cut into book pages. And we might do that for the smaller pockets. And let these be the bigger ones for books that are like size nine by, nine by six or something. This is the perfect size pocket here to do that. So let's do this like this. I want to put this over here. And we'll just have to see how things end up right there. Sorry, my bracelet is dragging. Usually don't have any problem with it. None that I notice. I'll put it that way. Okay, let's see. Let's get some music, some more music sheet. I just feel like you can't go wrong with music sheet. Let's do like a strip. Since we've got that center section, you know, right down through here, we definitely want to cover that. And, um, yeah. Yeah. So let's see how much we need. Mm, about that much. <laughs> about so much. Okay, let's put some music sheet right here. And how many of you are sad that Hobby Lobby stopped their 40% off coupon? Oh, I'm not just sad. It kind of angers me <laughs> when I think about it. Because, you know, we I spend, I don't know about you guys, but I spend a lot of money in Hobby Lobby. And I think for them to just take away the one thing that I have fun with is sad. Makes me sad. And, you know, it. I looked forward to going in and knowing that I could buy this or that for 40% off. You know, I might save for something or, you know, have something I want to get, but I wouldn't buy ordinarily. But I would with my 40% off. Um, so, I guess a lot of those things won't be bought much anymore. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm trying to be very positive about it. Supposedly, I've been told, supposedly they are um, going to have more sales. Look how crooked that is. Look at that. Tina, I don't have it. I don't have the straight cut. Now I'm going to try to straighten it up. I think it's because I didn't have my paper, my my back paper. You can see that everything's kind of crooked. Let's see if I can straighten it up. It may be a, a small one before it's over with. Not so bad. So we got it straightened up. Nothing to fear. Okay, I'm going to grab some more paper I have right here next to me. It's some of Tracy Fox's wallpaper. And I had a bunch of scraps left over from when I did a design team project. And I'm going to pull some of those out. And that way we can have more random colors. 
So that's number three. And here's all these that are already torn up. I figure they're the best ones to use at first. Yes. Okay, let's put this over here. Get the big pieces out of the way for now. Okay. Now, let's get some more book page. And let's go right here. Okie doke. I'm going to put a big piece of this because I like it. And get it all torn off there. And let's see, maybe I'll put it here at the bottom. I like this green leafy one too. Do 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 do. Okay, let's see. Maybe we'll cut this one thinner. Use some of the... Try not to cover up what I've already put down. Which is hard. Put some music, sheet... Okay, let's put this right here. Kind of got it on the front, but that's all right. It will be fine. Let's put a little bit right here. These are so small, and I'm used to doing the big, giant pages. So that's, you know, I'll tear them really big, and it covers the whole thing nearly. Now, you got to realize on these, it's not too exciting just like that, but it will be more exciting once we... Uh, Start putting ephemera and embellishments on it. I'm cutting the raw edges because they're really crooked. I'm trying to be Tina and get things straight today. I'm not as good as she is at this. Look straight as you're going to get out of me. I say that, and here I am, straightening it some more. Okay, so when we get five of these, we will cover the back. You know, we'll bounce around and get that done, and then we'll make five of the smaller ones, which means we have one more, and we'll make some smaller ones, and um, those will be fun, too. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Let's just tear some of this off. Oh, good grief. Okay, there we go. That was kind of weird. Let's do this. 
with the little tail. To, it's a different shape, huh? Sometimes I just like to pick them up in whatever shape they are, glue them down. That's how you get different looks. It is warm in here. I'm gonna have to turn my fan on. I'm sorry if it makes too much noise, but you don't want me to pass out here on camera. <laughs> I have trouble with, um, I can be freezing one minute and the next minute I'm like very overheated. And my doctor says, you know, that doesn't change. They may have to look into um, seeing why because, you know, I shouldn't have that problem all the time. I'm going to put some of this, this little piece of blue. Okay, come off of there. It's wanting to stick down. Let's see. Let's do some yellow. I've been doing better with it. So I've kind of been, you know, not expecting to have to do anything like that. But then I'll have days that, like today, I had on two blankets. On when I was sitting in my chair, I had two blankets and a um, the heater turned up, and I was still shiver and had on my big woolly socks. I bet every one of you out there has big woolly socks. They're not made out of wool. I just call them that. Um, they're just warm, fuzzy socks. I guess so would be a better way. To explain it okay what do we want to put on here next oh here's some pink let's do that okay let's do this up in this corner now see, this one's gonna have several different colors because I'm doing it smaller than um, I did the others. And I don't like smaller, but you do what you gotta do. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's wanting to tear my paper. I guess it's time to change it, right? It's a little piece of green. Every piece can be collaged. That's what I say. Okay, I think it's time to change that. Paper. It's pretty messy. Let's do a tag out of this one. You want to press it down as you're doing it because it does. Help. <laughs> okay, now we got to finish this one. As I take a drink, <laughs> doesn't take much to get thirsty. Now that one's crooked, but I don't think it should make a difference. Why not do some of them crooked instead of all of them perfectly straight and square? I say it makes it fun. Does look odd though, doesn't it?
trying to straighten it up because I don't like the way it looks. I should have just done it straight to start with. But no, I've got to be different. Looks a little better, doesn't it? Here is, let's see what other color. Let's do, let's do some of this plain blue, but let's tear it. If I can find my tear tool under all of this craziness. Doke. Let's see. All right, let's go like this. I kind of like having that wonky one in there. We're going to leave it. Hey, why not? It's just scraps, right? scraps in old book pages. It's not like it's costing us a fortune to to um, if we mess up on one, right? Let's see what that looks like now when we flip it over. Okay, so I'm going to pull out some set these to the side and I'm going to pull out some paper that can be um, used on the back which you know I have a random amount of papers that I do that with so there we go they could be all different colors they don't necessarily have to be uh, book pages or something like that they they can be as long as they're light enough to journal that's what i look at if i can journal on it it doesn't have to be just brown earth tones that's my story and i'm sticking to it i think I think it's fun to put color in with the browns because you get a lot of browns and no prints really unless it has lines or something like that. Unless it's ledger or, you know, something you can write on. But no flowers and stuff like that. That's, that's how I like to do it. And, um, yeah. Now see, this is plenty light enough to to write on now I'm going to bring out this little paper here I'm going to tear it down the brown edge and let's see let's just put it on one side here We'll get these all collaged, and then if we will come back and decorate them next time. Okay, so we keep the big pieces and put inside here. Now I want to find something that has a little bit more lines on it yeah like this is perfect uh, let's see I want it long ways here wrong way <laughs> A 
Okay, what have you guys been doing to stay busy this summer? I would love to know. Ours has just been working on bathrooms and stuff like that. Putting things on the wall. You know, Rick's been cleaning up the yard. The other day, I got to tell you a funny story. You know, we're city slickers. We always have been. And um, now we're not <laughs> so much. But um, Rick was trying to dig up. He had dug up a tree that had started growing under like a evergreen type bush. And the tree was pushing the evergreen over and it was looking all deformed and stuff. Well, so we, uh, so that's the first back. And I'm going to trim anything hanging over so it will have it all nice and straight. Um, so he's, I'm out, I'm in my craft room and I happen to look out and I see two chickens. And they're in the flower bed he's working on. Yes, you heard me. Two chickens for the city slicker. And I watch him just keep, he just keeps trying to rake around them and everything. And then um, he finally just stops and puts his rake on the ground and just kind of stands there and watches them like, are you seriously not going to let me get my work done? <laughs> you know? And I was watching from the window, and I took pictures. It was so funny. I sent them to my sister. Of course, she w she just cracked up at them. And uh, my kids and stuff, you know. They were funny-looking pictures. And uh, so he said he, he says they're out running around in the yard the whole time he's working. They come from the next-door neighbor's. You know, no, and they don't follow any kind of leash law, keep your animals wherever. And I told him, I said, yeah, I can see them least putting some chickens on, on, on a leash. <laughs> so there's the front, okay, and here's the back. And this will let this dry really good. And uh, it'll be one of them that we do next time. So I'm taking... I'm taking this and I'm deciding which this is more up, uh, where to put these, punch these little holes. And so I'm just doing it as close to the center as I can. Ooh, that went flying across the room. And there you go. And then we're going to set that there while we work on the back of these. And let's see. Let's get that one all inked. All inked and some paper on it. How about we put, how about we do this one? <laughs> That's funny. Let's see how far over. Let's put this right here. And we'll cover it up with other papers. So we've got that one can go here or there. Does it really matter? Okay, there's that. And then we can put some more of this brown, maybe like that. We have a piece of green left over, so let's put that right there. It's already torn. And let's see if we have a music sheet. You know, music sheet to me is kind of hard to write on, so maybe we won't do that. Let's see what else I've got in my little envelope. So I'm just going to take old book page that is solid, you know, that you can put on here and it's all brown and old looking. 
and uh, perfect for this sort of thing. And I keep them when I tear out books. I always keep the the paper that you know I can use the solid side on. And I like the way it turns out like that. Okay, so let's pull it over here and get it glued down. Okay. Let's do the big paper first. So yeah, that's one of the many things that we have had in our yard. And oh, I told you guys about the chipmunk getting in the apartment downstairs in the basement. So we have a two bedroom, full two bedroom apartment downstairs. And he opened up his shop door, which had the door open to the hall, which allowed the chipmunk to go into the apartment when he wasn't looking. And, and that's exactly what happened. So the day, I guess it spent the night in the apartment. And then he, you know, I also told you that he got it out. It took a lot of work, but he got it out the next day after he discovered it. And, uh, it was just funny. You know, he put out, uh, what, uh, some kind of snack that he could eat on crackers. I think we put crackers and uh, so he was able to leave little trails. And he knew when he was leaving because he hooked the bell up that, so when the, when the chipmunk would pass the bell, it would ring so we'd know he went out a door. And he did that on two different doors that, you know, would take him outside. Finally, he got him out. Took most of the day trying to figure out what he was going to do because when he had seen Rick, he had run back into the apartment. It's crazy. Anyway, that's one day. I love watching them. I was sitting at my, um, or standing over the vent to get my feet warm. And I was eating a bowl of cereal um, a few days ago. And I was seeing something bounce around on the ground. And you have to con take into consideration. I don't see well. And I'm having my cataracts removed on Tuesday. Uh, the, on one side. And then I'll do the other one two weeks later. But anyway. So, uh, I'm doing my cataracts. But... I'm doing it because I have, you know, they're growing, of course. But, man, I'm hoping for better vision from it. I don't know that I'm going to get it. He said people don't always have a vision change. He's hoping I will, but I'm really not a candidate for any of the other things they do at the same time. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so... I was watching out the window, the wind, the window in the living room, and here comes this little chipmunk. Well, I was watching what I thought was a lizard for the longest time. I don't like that. I got to put something in here. I don't think that looks good right there. Um, anyway, so he was just playing in the yard. And what I thought was a lizard was a bird. And, uh, but he was the same color as the ground and he was hopping on the ground, I guess, looking for worms or whatever for his babies or her babies, not his babies. And, um, the reason I know it's babies is we have two topiaries that are fake. They're not real. That's next to our front door. And we have a bird's nest. A baby, a really small kind of a basket, real deep basket-like shape. And the bird is a couple brown tones and just cute little bird. Right next to our front door. I mean, like literally right up, right up there where we pass by every day to go in and out. 
So we've been using the garage door. Yes, we're trying to oblige the bird. But at one day, there was two eggs in there. The next day, there was three. And another day went by, and then there was five. And it ended up being a total of six eggs. And literally, from the time she put the first two in, so two babies hatched the same day. They're so tiny. And uh, they got the biggest old eyes you've ever seen. Um, so we've had, you know, we've, we've been dealing with all kinds of creatures, including the birds. Um, but anyway, so we've got this mama on her nest right by the front door. And my friend took pictures of the eggs. And it was, she did a really good picture. It showed the eggs. And, and so now I'm going to have to try to get pictures of the babies to send to her. Um, but yeah, they're so cute. So we had that. And then I, we watched the chipmunks are everywhere. So then my husband comes in yesterday telling me a new chipmunk story. And I was like, what did they do now? He said, well, I left the garage door open for just a few minutes. I was coming right back. And of course, a chipmunk went in there and I kind of saw it in my peripheral vision that something went in there and I assumed it was a chicken or a chipmunk. And um, it was a chipmunk. So he goes over there and he starts making noise so he can close the garage door to get, you know, he needed to get the chipmunk out. And the chipmunk thought, you know, he was after him, of course. I'm going to cut this one or punch a hole in this one too. Or half moon. And uh, anyway, I'm concentrating on, on this so I don't put it somewhere I don't want it. There we go. And there you have our second pocket with the back on but anyway so this little guy was in the garage and rick scared him out he really thought rick was running gonna chase after him and so we have this um drain that runs across the front of the garage and um it's kind of like a sub pump in a way but it's for a garage okay and it's like looking down into a drain on the street or something. He looks down there with his camera on his phone. And that chipmunk is hiding in that drain. And you can see him. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm like, go Alvin. Where's your buddy Simon? That's what I'm thinking the whole time. I just think they're adorable. And I was hoping we would have chipmunks when we moved out here, because I just think they're so cute. I've sat and looked at them when we'd come on vacation here. Um, we would sit outside of our room and watch baby chipmunks. Well, let me see how much time we have. Ooh, we have time to do one more back. So let's grab this one. Flip it over, and I'll finish off the the other sizes before we do the next video. So I'll do some size for like traveler's notebooks also, and um, that way uh, we'll be ready to do ephemera. We may make several things before this little series is over. I want to do, I have several things I want us to make. I started off simple tonight because I got started late and I didn't want to be up any later than necessary since I struggle with my sleep. Poor me. Some nights I get two hours. Last night, I actually got, let me think how many hours I got last night. It was more than I've gotten probably since we've lived here. Uh, probably about f maybe five hours. But um, anyway, uh, 
it's exhausting when you don't sleep for days and days and days. It catches up with you big time. Um, anyway, so that's what I've been doing, struggling to sleep. But he got the yard in pretty good shape. You know, it's going to need a lot of work. Um, and he, we're going to see about having some dirt brought in. And, you know, he's going to be mi Mr. Gardener. But anyway, so he's been working on so much. He has really stepped up and... Uh, done a lot of things for a man who's been retired. He has stepped up and made sure everything has looked good and oh, that's not what I want. thought it was one of those green ones. Here's a green piece. Let's just cut this in a strip because it will go there perfect. Let's see. And we can let it hang off and cut whatever doesn't make it on the page. Okay, here we go. Come off of there. Uh, of course it tore half the book off. Yeah, we'll cut that part off. That will solve that little mystery. Yeah, see, I can rub off that letter right there, make it look a little nicer. So I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My poor little channel is struggling. Um, I don't know why. I feel like I've done a lot to try to make it work. But, you know, I've been on on uh, YouTube for a long time. And I get great comments. But even the comments are really very low now. Some days I don't get any comments. And it's not that I need to have comments that pat me on the back or anything like that. I just want to get to know you guys and um, I'm trying to keep it alive. And you know, if it doesn't improve, you know, it's kind of pointless for me to do all the things on here I love to do. I'll just, you know, I, I have plenty to keep me busy in my life in my craft room. And um, I will do that. But I really want to try. To, I've been trying to do things to make it, you know, better. I've been doing Instagram and, you know, Pinterest and stuff like that. I'm trying to keep this from looking crooked. So I'm working on it. Um, but I'm also taking a break because I figure, you know, if everything's very slow and I'm, I'm exhausted, uh, that I need a break. And I'm about to have my eyes done like I told you. But what I haven't told you is I'm also going to be having major surgery on my foot. And that is going to be... Uh, rough for me. I don't know at this point what it means as far as my channel goes. I figure, you know, I'm going to move my stuff downstairs and do things down there. I'm going to go down to the guest room below the stairs and I'll work from in there and that way I can be I can just pull my wheelchair up and, yeah, you heard me, wheelchair. Ah, lovely. But my foot has a very bad bunion on it. It's causing my toes to do crazy things, you know, which is called hammer toes, which sounds so disgusting. 
but um, they're, you know, just real crooked, and the bones in my foot are going growing like this, so I have this big space. But also, the most important part of it is that the bones that go across the top of your foot on me have pretty much not fused their self, but it's, there's no space there. And it's kind of like being bone on bone with your knee or your hip or something like that. I'm bone on bone in my foot, which causes me severe pain. Every part of my foot hurts. So they're gonna go in and um, put some kind of spacer in there and they'll fuse a lot of stuff and also may have to lengthen the Achilles ten tendon in the back of my leg or down to my heel. And yeah, it's just six to eight weeks in a boot and the first three to four or five weeks, I cannot put any weight on it, period. So that's gonna be fun. So all that to be said is I need you guys to help me keep the channel alive. Please come and visit. Please leave messages or comments below. Tell your friends about the channel and let's try to keep it going. And we'll see how I do during that time. And as soon as I'm able, I will start doing videos again after I have my surgery. So, yeah. That's what's going on in my life. Don't you wish you were me. <laughs> anyway, I'm just joking. But, um, so, I'm going to see you in the next video where we're going to do some things. Uh, I've got several things lined up, so I don't even have to tell you what it is. But And we're going to, when we get them all covered in paper or whatever, we're going to then do a day of decorating with ephemera. So, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys have a great evening. And uh, welcome to to my latest subscribers that I haven't welcomed. And that's probably just like one or two maybe. And welcome to my, I mean, I, not welcome, but uh, I appreciate all you that have stuck uh, with me through, through thick and thin with my channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.